heighten trade tensions with China, putting American companies with interests there and possibly American consumers in the middle. On Wednesday, China hit back at U.S. tariff proposals, threatening a 25 percent tariff on some U.S. products, including planes, cars and soybeans. But Beijing didn't specify when the new tariffs would take effect. A top White House economic advisor suggested the U.S. tariffs may be intended by the president as a negotiating tactic. This is not about trade wars. This is about holding to the laws and the customs of free trade and holding violators uh, to account. In recent weeks, the Trump administration has proposed tariffs on steel and aluminum from countries including China, citing U.S. national security and other Chinese goods following a U.S. investigation into alleged intellectual property theft by the Chinese, which Beijing denies. The Chinese tariffs suggest an effort to hit the Trump administration politically, going after industries and states that voted for Trump in 2016, soybean producers, for example, and heavy manufacturing. It's going to disrupt a lot of manufacturing activity, and then the counter moves by the Chinese were very strategic. The economic spat also comes at a delicate diplomatic time. President Trump has sought China's help in pressuring North Korea to stand down on its nuclear weapons pursuit. Last week, Chinese President Xi Jinping hosted Kim Jong-un in Beijing as the White House prepares for a summit between Trump and Kim sometime this spring.